Welcome back. We hope everyone's got their caffeine going, running through their veins. Maybe they've got their new hustle juice mm, happening. So because we're super excited. We got Auntie Ashley Morgan joining us to create some really cool stuff about this great event that's happening across the globe, I think you said. Yes, that. yes. Creative Mornings is coming to Fargo. There's a chapter starting here. It'll be the last Friday of every month. And the catch is you have to get a ticket and they go live at 10 a.m. today. And so to be able to come on Friday at 8 a.m. at AFT downtown, you can grab your ticket at 10. And the global theme this month is craft. And so we'll actually be the first speakers at it as well. Oh, wow, that's awesome. It's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and so I brought two coffee-related crafts because it's 8 a.m. and you need to get caffeinated. Although you can't eat our first one or okay. drink it, but <laughs> it's Because it, it smells delicious. So if I was <laughs> yes. a child that loved coffee, I would be like, Right. Like with Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah. Tasting yeah. It. Exactly. So we're going to go ahead and make a coffee lotion bar. And so in this one here, I'm going to let you just dump this out. This is a half a cup of beeswax. And then we can kind of use that spoon and you're going to dump in a half a cup of coconut oil, just whatever kind you want. We have organic because it's going to go on our skin and so it'd be nice to have something like that. And then you can set it in there. And then with that same spoon, you can get a half a cup of shea butter in there. Wow. And you're going to melt these down, which we've already done in our TV magic here mm. on the side. And so in this one, on very low heat, we heated it all up. We don't want it to get overly hot. We just want them to be combined. And so we're going to pour it in to the silicone mold. And so I'm going to add some coffee beans. You could use a cupcake tin, though. You don't have to get fancy things. But if you're doing candy making and such, and can you I can start? go ahead and fill them up. And there's no rule on how many coffee beans, just... There is not. The coffee bean's purpose, it'll allow a little bit of a scent, and then it's also exfoliating. So as you start oh. to use the lotion bar and you get to that rough part of the coffee beans and things, then you are totally set to go with that. Mm. <laughs> and so you let them cool and get nice and hard. They stay slippery. Um, but that's because it's a hard lotion. And so you can rub it on your knuckles and on wow. your heels and that kind of thing. You could gift them really easily. I was testing and it out beforehand. It, it, feel, it feels really nice. And yeah. just rubbing it on. It's perfect like ingredients to be yeah. a good skincare routine to have as well. <laughs> it is really good. slippery. And so keeping it right. like a little Tupperware or that kind of thing would be perfect to do too. Nice. So then over here, we want to personalize so a exciting. coffee mug. <laughs> And so you can start by just getting a dollar store glass coffee mug. It needs to be glass. And then our only special ingredient is this glass etching cream. And this will set you back, this little guy, about 16 bucks or so. But you can get smaller ones, too, if you're not going to do a lot of this. And you can either buy fancy glass etching stencils or mm -hmm. these little, like, sticker letters so you can personalize it. And so for you, Chris, we have hustle juice. And so then on the back side, <laughs> you added crushing it. <laughs> and then I made myself a Beyonce mug. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to take our foam brushes and we're going to dip it into this container. First, though, we need to just finish your hustle juice side. I just take masking tape or painter's tape if we want to create a border around this so that it looks a little bit more crisp. You don't ah, have to do that, though, which we don't like have that. on the crushing it side or on mine. And we're going to dip our brushes into the glass etching cream to get some so it's not getting all over the place. And this is an abrasive chemical, so we don't want to get it on our hands. And then we're just going to dab it over our stickers. And we want to dab it and not brush it, because if you brush it back and forth, it'll maybe get this cream underneath your sticker, which is no fun. And then your letters won't show up as much. And we want it to be cloudy, but not so thick that it's drippy. And so it's a very easy craft to do. You just need to be careful because it is an abrasive chemical. And the end result is because this chemical is actually removing a layer of glass from the mug, which is a little wild. That is. <laughs> so we want to be careful. But after just a minute, you can run it underwater. And we usually let this sit for five minutes, but only a minute's actually required. And then you take, remove your letters and you end up with something like our Rise and Grind mug that we've I got up here. <laughs> And so it's kind of hard to see, but as it fills up with coffee or other things, oh. it'll stand out more. People do it to Pyrex dishes, vases, candle jars. You love it. Have options. Yeah, yes. great for a gift, but also great for just labeling at your own home if you have some yeah. stuff that you'd like. Yeah, personalize something really fun. <laughs> It'd be a great wedding gift, too, if you're looking to do something. You could do it to a Pyrex dish for hot dish stuff. Could but... you, because I've seen you do cool <laughs> stuff with Instagram pictures, could you do that on this, too, or is that 
Am I going outside the box? Uh, it would be mostly anything that could become a stencil. So whatever you can do to block the cream from going someplace, because you'll rinse it off and whatever ends up there. You could do like a negative space kind of. Uh, you could do. You're way Yes, in. you could. Just over <laughs> his head there. Yeah. Something that would create it to be like a two-tone image, yes, it could be glass etched. <laughs> if somehow you create a stencil. These are giving so. the negative space. Like, okay. <laughs> it could happen. It absolutely could happen. So yes, coffee-related things, and then come out with your personalized mug to Creative Mornings on Friday and get inspired. Go over it one more time, what we need to do then to take part. Yes, totally. So it is a global free breakfast lecture series for the creative community. Um, in Fargo, it's going to be the last Friday of every month. A ticket is required, but it is totally free. So you need to grab your tickets at 10 a.m. today. It's uh, creativemornings.com backslash F-A-R for Fargo. Um, you get breakfast included, delicious wow. coffee, a 20-minute lecture on the global theme like craft this month. And then our Fargo chapter is adding a DIY to do at the end of each one. So you also get to make something each time, too. So people like me who are scared of crafting, it's, it's for everyone, not just the artists like Absolutely, yourself. yes. Okay. The manifesto of Creative Mornings as a whole, it needs creativity in their job, problem solving, teaching, this job, so all true. the things. So you'll get inspired no matter who you are. Do you see the it. is a secret scrapbooker? <laughs> yes, we can scrapbook. <laughs> like, you know every time you come, I'm like, I'm not crafty, I'm yes. not crafty. Yeah, it's all covered. That is awesome. <laughs> all right. Very cool. Thank you yes. so much. Coming up.